Animat, thank you for joining me to riff drawing account. So is this a safer work drawing account or a not safer work drawing account? Depends what we can get past YouTube censors. Wait, Robert Allen got to play Allen, but Jack Davis had to play Reynolds? Well, it's better than Ross Hertz getting the animator role. Yeah, that should go to Mark Henn. Ah, uh, the ending of Casablanca always makes me cry. And the sequel is a bit disappointing, I see. Uh, folks, this is your captain speaking. The educational short will begin momentarily. It's amazing how much power they get out of an engine that doesn't look so very big. Nah, yes, great. Now I'm more stuck more with one of these guys. Oh no, thousand each. About four thousand or so, all told. Well, it looks like I'm getting curious at the right time. Oh my! I seem to know the answers. I'm an engineer. Automotive. This is an airplane, though. Oh, what's the difference? The man I need. My name is Alan. Reynolds is mine. From G Commandos? You, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. Well, you won't bore me by talking about engines. You see, I'm a cartoon animation director. I did not know that's you the official title. Cartoon, cartoon Animation right. Director. Quite a We're mouthful a for the credits. With a bunch of little imps using an automobile to win a war. Why? Everything is swell except we get in trouble whenever we try to show the engine. You see, my imps are inspired well, by that little fellow right there who is on the wing, just I taking apart the pieces. That one's from our Ben Hur babies pitch. I always wondered how they did it. Well, maybe we can dicker a bit. Dicker? I hardly. I'm Never mind. A day or two at the studio. That sounds okay to me. I'll just cancel all of my appointments so, so that I can go to the studio tour. I didn't have any other plans when I booked a flight to California. Fine. And when you come over to the studio, I'll show you what we finished. This is going to be a long eight hours. Meanwhile, at Cartoon Films, Inc. Good thing they grabbed that trademark so early. I think it's pretty clever the way you fellas combine cartoon figures with something that looks as real as that automobile. We've made tracings from photographs of a real car. So wait, scenes. that's a tracing? Traced by a photocopier, I guess. Cartoon Films, Inc. is the inventor of the Xerox process. Together. It ought to be here by now. Well, let's go and see. Because this cartoon is due in just two days. That's awfully These generous. The, animators, the boys who make the original drawing. Just because Walt called everybody well, the boys doesn't mean you have to. If cartoon films sure aspire to be, be like Disney, then well, everybody has to be the boys. Because the boys are only toys. Who knows where it's... Let's have one of the little yeah, I got on nothing. each bow. They could be in the special uniform of a mechanized unit. A great idea! Well, an and idea. We the imps hats in the shape of valves. And then have them jump up and down. I'm actually seeing it right now! Chamber ...with their valve hats! That sounds good. Except this engine, that belongs in the car you're showing, has overhead valves. And cartoons need Notice to be accurate! Well, you know, there are going to be those commenters. These guys are prepared for Reddit. Oh, well, and we'll put the imps up on top. And because the fuel comes directly into the head, that means greater economy. Greater economy for what? For the country or...? Vote for this engine for our nation's future! Doling out just the right amount. A stingy-looking fellow with whiskers who just hates the idea of waste. Jimmy, That's shut okay. up! The valve mechanism is specially designed for quiet operation, just like everything else on this engine. Why not have monitor imps walking around with quiet please signs? Say, so we'll make a cartoonist out of you yet. We'll just fire three of our own and you'll fill in for Here's all the of them. the valve imps will look. Ten or twelve drawings will be filled in between these two just for one complete movement. The imps are from when Whoville? All drawn, the action of your imps on the valves will be perfectly smooth and natural. Well, as smooth and natural as you can go on Say, threes. When we get to the place where the general calls for more speed, why don't we turn this thing into an airplane engine? Like the bulleteers well, did. The imps go so fast they're just a blur. We fog out the shot and change to an airplane engine. You know, to be honest, he doesn't actually work here. It's we just few. let him ramble on. That gag is older than you are, fellow. Not bad, though. Remember what I was telling you on the plane, Alan? Aeroplanes have valve and head engines, too, because they want the greatest amount of power. Unlimited power, Nintendo power, the rings of power, turtle power. At the same time for long-range operation. As a matter of fact, all the engines that hold major speed records are this same valve and head construction. We have enough trouble making these drawings look like an automobile engine without asking for more. Don't worry, you can always trace them with this your pictures. This engine has 90 horsepower for plenty of pep and performance. Why not have one of the imps in charge of the horses? Someone who could really handle them. What would you think of a Roman chariot driver? Oh, you mean like the one that I drew? The one you already saw in the portfolio? Guy with a whip. Yeah, because okay. I always like to think about and animal cruelty in my engines. You don't want to know how they get the horsepower from that horse. 
to meet the needs of different operating parts most efficiently and economically. So, some of the imps could be dressed like a crew of oilers. How imaginative, some oilers for a car-themed cartoon. Right They're making such a creative cartoonist thing? out of this guy. That's the water jacket. It runs around all the cylinders to cool them off. With the valves in the head, you have more room for cooling around the cylinders. That's where our Navy comes in. Imps in submarines. Maybe even mermaid. Ah, crap. Alan is horny again. Were animators ever not sneaking their fetishes in? It's a proud tradition. Let me show you. We use a regular actor whose voice fits the personality of the character we've created. Then we replace him with Chris Pratt. The general of the imp army does most of the talking. Put on more speed. Give it the works. Okay, let's do it again, but actually be good. on film now, on the soundtrack. Put on more speed! Give it to work! Alright, so right over here, we're gonna go and cut that line out. We make a note of how much film is taken for every syllable. That is, how many frames or separate pictures. There are 16 frames to every foot of movie film. 16 frames on a dead so man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottle of, of film. Knows he has 12 drawings to make. The mirror is so the animator could check he himself before going on his hot date. When he draws In this scene, speaking. the imp is about to throw animators up. It have to be crazy, but it helps. You know, crazy this enough to suggest those wacky ideas like unionizing, fair wages, and not guys, working which gives overtime. Our musical director, his tempo. We photograph the drawings with a moving beater showing on the edge. Oh, now these guys will riff it for us. We check our action and record the music to this tempo. But Carl Stalling took one look and quit. This is the tracing and opegging department. Pegging department? The, the animators are horny. Have been checked and traced with ink on transparent celluloid. We call them cells. And the angry ones over there complaining about the women working the here are called in cells. In the lines to give the character body to block out the background. Block them out! I hate backgrounds! These are the backgrounds over here. May I please have a raise? No, you're in backgrounds. In, fact, in a 10 minute animated cartoon, there are 15 to 20,000 separate drawings. Wow. That's really wasteful. Animation is irresponsible. We already cut down 10 trees for this cartoon. Line and they're photographed one by one over the backgrounds. And now Tchaikovsky's Dance of the Animation Cell Fairies. God, it's so boring when it's not being shown to Robert Benchley. Well, at least we don't have to animate the wheels. Ah, it's the Knott's Berry Farm Volcano Devil. But what do these devils have against this car in particular anyway? Chevrolet, our cars are so good they're feared by Satan. And how are the bullets doing absolutely nothing? And how is the car moving when the imps are sleeping? Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. Why does the guy on the gas look so evil? He looks like one of the devils shooting the car more than the imps. I'm guessing because it's some sort of unfortunate stereotype. It's the 40s. There's got to be at least one. Did the imps get this car from Nicky Gnome? Even behind a car, animation is under attack. Which side are you on? Two people came up with this chariot driver idea and we barely see him. Not to mention the horses. 200 imps did not survive the war with the devils. How do we know the imps are the good guys in this battle? It's anti-devil propaganda, I tell ya! Justice for Satan! That's it? Wait a minute, where are some of the ideas? Where are the submarines? Where are the mermaids? I've been ripped off by this! Hashtag release the Allen cut! Oh my god, I just realized that they actually cut out the put on more speed line! Well, that was The Drawing Account, a mediocre educational film about cars disguised as a mediocre educational film about animation. I guess it's better than disguising it as a mediocre film about ghosts. I would like to thank my dear friend Animat for joining me on this rip. I could think of nobody better to look at this old look at the animation process with me. 
even if it taught us absolutely nothing we didn't already know. If you're not already familiar with his work, check it out at the links in the description. And before I reached out to Matt, I also watched this short on a Patreon livestream with these patrons. They helped me get the creative juices flowing looking at the many, many things to make fun of in this short. We'll make cartoonists out of them yet! If you would like to join the next Patreon livestream, even a $1 pledge gets you access. And at $2, you can see next week's Obsession of the Moment. It's about a peculiar reunion special for my favorite on-screen superhero. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go record some dialogue I have absolutely no intention of actually using. So until next time, this is Dave, signing off. <laughs>